Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about logarithm and logarithm laws. The logarithm of a number to base a is the index to which a is raised to give this number. So, if y equals to a power of x, where a is bigger than 0 and a isn't 1, then log a y equals to x. So basically we need to use logarithm to find the power of an index by using the base and the final number, which in this case y. For example, 2 cubed is equal to 8. And if we write it in logarithm, it turns out to be log to 8 equals to 3. So the power is what we need to find now. Let me show you another example. Log x 16 equals to 4. This question will require to find x. So we can write it as x power of 4 equals to 16. x power of 4 equals to 2 power of 4. So x equals to 2. Positive 2, not plus minus 2. Let me tell you why. Because in some cases, for example, if the base is negative 4, and the power may be 1 over 2, so it will become square root negative 4, which doesn't make sense because a negative number can't be square rooted. So the base can't be a negative number. Also, this value can't be a negative number either. It's because anything that is not negative with any power, the value is always bigger than zero. So a and y can be negative. Okay, now you know how logarithm works. And let me show you some logarithm laws. The first law that I'm going to show you is that log a x times y equals to log a x plus log a y. For example, log 2 5 plus log 2 6 equals to log 2 5 times 6 equals to log 2 30. The second rule is that log a x divided by y equals to log a x minus log a y. For example, log 2 6 minus log 2 5 equals to log 2 6 minus 5. The third law is that log a x power of n equals to n log a x. For instance, log 2 6 power of 2 equals to 2 log 2 6. The fourth law is log a 1 over x equals to negative log a x. For example, log 2 1 over 6 equals to negative log 2 6. The fifth law is log a1 equals to 0 and log a a equals to 1. For example, log 2 1 equals to 0 and log 2 2 equals to 1. 
the final law is that log a times a x equals to x. For example, log 6, 6 power of 2 equals to 2. Now, let me highlight these laws and right now I recommend you to pause the video and copy down all the laws that I highlighted in your notebook. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the video and learn some math concepts. I will see you next time.